Hello, Polygoners! Welcome back to our Drunk Cast featuring my best friend, Apple Crown Royal. We're going to see how much of this I can drink before I get totally plastered and I'm unable to cast for you any longer. We'll see how deep that goes. How deep that rabbit hole shall travel. But in the meantime, we got a Zerg vs. Terror and it's going to be on Catalyst Ladder Edition. Not the biggest fan of this map, but we'll see how these players can utilize it to their relative advantages disadvantages how that works in this game i'm gonna try and be strategic i'm feeling a little bit tipsy so we'll see where that goes this might just turn into an entertainment cast at some point but we'll see how far we can keep the usual format going <coughs> here on the top left hand side of catalyst he plays the red zerg for Psystorm storm gaming he's true and he has gone for a hatch pull gas build. Very interesting opener. Usually you're always seeing that gas first. We'll see if that was a mistake. I doubt it. This guy's Korean. Anyways, his opponent's on the bottom right. He's a pretty famous player. Very, uh, very good streamer. He's our blue Terran. And he's Juggernaut Jason. Of course, he is going for the Reaper. Pull's going to be coming out, but that Reaper can really wreak some havoc before Ling Speed. Because this Extractor was delayed, Ling Speed will be delayed. You want the Ling Speed to shut down the window of opportunity, so this is kind of a really big deal for Jason, who's going to be able to open in probably one of the most effective ways possible. Now, Jason is going for the Factory follow-up to that. Reaper's going to be running right underneath this Overlord. Overlord going to try and park right here. He doesn't want to get sniped by a Marine, but does see that it's not going to be Marines. Link speed just now starting. We do have a command center en route. Now by delaying this and actually pulling out of this for a while, he is going to have a much significantly better economy and a lot more drones on his mineral line. True, making a really good choice, but it's all going to come down to whether or not this Reaper can do any damage. Jason actually electing not to do any, really much of anything with this Reaper. So, true getting left off the hook, let off the hook rather, for that. Really, to no, uh, no particular like he didn't he didn't earn that. Jason just let him have it. So we'll see if we'll see if this Reaper can come in a little bit later. But it's definitely late. It's about a minute, minute twenty late at this point. All right, so he, he will see this drone. Is gonna be able to snipe this third base, uh, more than likely. Ooh, a little bit late on that, uh, that, that mine drop. He's not gonna be able to kill the building. That's done deal. Ooh, Reaper gets surrounded and killed. Jason, what are you doing, my friend? Anyways, that third base does fall down. He might just have nerves. True is definitely an intimidating player. Now, this Overlord, pretty significant. He does see that this is a second factory that there's a tech lab on the factory, a reactor here. So he's pretty much going to be able to assume either mass aliens, probably going to have some hellbats, definitely going to be factory units. And in scouting that, he does go ahead and take some extra extractors. The layer's already in production. So he's going to be switching into that mid-game kind of like technology, whether he goes for like swarm hosts, hydras, or, you know, maybe even like a quicker ultra or broodlord. That uh, kind of remains to be seen, but true, always, always, always delivering with some unusual but very potent strategy. So, Roach Worm going to be on the way. Definitely a common response to mech, especially when Hellions are shown so early. The plus one or missile ranged attack going to be coming on the way for true as well. At this point, we're still just sitting on a light amount of production here for Jason. He's lacking the minerals to move too far forward. And there's going to be the infestation pit. So we should probably be seeing a quicker hive, maybe a swarm host type of build to uh, take advantage of this mech. Hellions want to poke here into the third, but not going to find any drones to snipe. In 
infestation pit just now completing, not immediately transitioning to a hive. Now we are getting a third factory here, and we do have this third command center, so we're starting to see both players transition into the next level of their mid game. Two armories going to be in production. We also have Infernal Pre-Igniter. He definitely wants those Hellbats to be formidable. It's probably going to be about a nine minute timing just uh, on the surface. Ah, he's moving out even quicker than that, actually showing the Cyclones. Love that spot there. High ground advantage. Now, Creep Spread is pretty sick right now for True. As you can see, he does have uh, five queens on the field. That's a lot of queens. But making making for certain use of that. Creep Spread actually perhaps one of the, uh, the most underrated features of ZVT. Like, it's great in all matchups, but in ZVT in particular, it is essential. And at this point, we do have the Hive going to be completing some Thors in production. Another factory coming out, Cyclone Tank. He's getting one of each, um, and Philly knows exactly what his opponent's doing. That's not a bad call. All right, Infernal Pregniter going down on that creep. Let's get a little alcohol on this. By the way, True took a base right there. It just got canceled. Really good work there by the Hellbats. And they morphed and run away like the Zoids that they are. And Vipers are going to be hitting the field with a vengeance. This is a seven minute Viper build. Gotta love that. We'll see if he's specializing in abducts or clouds or what up not. Roach is going to be wiping some Hellbat or Hellions rather off the field on the left. More Roaches swinging in from the far right. Going to be wiping these Hellions off on the right as well. Roach is chasing these Hellions all the way back to the third base. Can possibly consider sending a Roach or two into the, uh, the mineral one. <coughs> that might have actually paid for itself very quickly. <coughs> we do have a Hydralisk Den on the way for True, so... He is going for that Roach Hydra Viper that is uh, particularly potent. The interesting part is skipping the Hydras until having the Viper. He gets... <clears throat> he actually might have something there, because, like, Roaches are really good, and then Hydras become really good. Anyways, great snipes. He's definitely focusing on the Abducts. Pulls most of the tanks in. There's another tank getting sniped by almost a pure Roach Force. Thor's already down, and the Hellions, of course... There's no point in sniping those. They just run away and eh, they might as well be dead. Roach is going to be swinging in here on the Thor. It does kill a Thor even though it is completely surrounded by SCVs. Another Thor is here, but the SCVs surround a little bit weaker. However, <laughs> he almost let that Thor go. And this means Juggernaut Jason going to be tapping out just on the back of a massive Roach bus. Guys, so don't let players uh, try to convince you that, um, you know, you, like, when you're in low-level leagues and stuff like that, you hear people say, just focus on your macro. It doesn't make, matter what units you make, right? Well, True kind of proved that here. Yes, he did go Hive. Yes, he did get Vipers. Yes, he used those Vipers incredibly well. But that was off the back of a Roach Army. If you can get to Hive while maxing a Roach Army and throwing in one or two little tech units, clearly it'll get you to Grandmaster. Guys, hopefully it's a little bit of uh, inspiring information, trivia for you for you upcoming players. Thank you so much for watching. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, make sure you hit like on this video. Share it with your friends. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we update the channel. Hopefully getting back to a daily release schedule. And... Um, <laughs> Tune in tomorrow for more of this StarCraft 2 drunk cast. I'm not done yet. Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.